Hello, hello everyone, this is Joan from CanHub and welcome to another anatomy tutorial where I'm going to be talking about the neurovasculature of the lower leg and knee. So what I'm going to be basically doing throughout this tutorial is describing the main blood vessels and also nerves that you see on the lower leg as you see also on these three images. Now I'm going to be talking about the different arteries veins and nerves that we find on our lower leg so below the region below your knee and all the way to your foot we're going to start off with then the different arteries that we find on the lower leg and we're going to list them and the ones that we're going to be including here on this tutorial or seeing on this region of your body are the popliteal artery the anterior tibial the anterior lateral and medial malleolar arteries the inferior lateral and medial genicular arteries, and also we're going to be seeing then the superior and lateral medial genicular arteries, the posterior tibial artery. We're going to be seeing this one that can either be called the perineal artery or the fibular artery. We're now ready to move on to the very first one that we saw on that list. And before you ask me what is going on on this image, I'm going to just say that this is the back of your knee with the several muscles that we're going to be finding here on this region and some of the blood vessels and nerves. And we're highlighting the artery that we're going to be briefly talking about, the popliteal artery. Now this blood vessel is the continuation of the femoral artery, which is the main arterial blood supplier of your leg. It runs from the adductor hiatus until the lower margin of the popliteal muscle where it divides then into the anterior and posterior tibial arteries. And during its course, the popliteal artery gives off several branches that will be then covered on the next slides. We're going to be turning now the leg onto an anterior view where we're highlighting this structure here known as the anterior tibial artery. And the, this artery is one of the two continuations of the popliteal artery and runs from the lower margin of the popliteal muscle ventrally or anteriorly towards the back of your foot or also known as the dorsum of the foot, a fancier way to call the back of your foot, which you partially see here on this image. Now at this point, this artery continues as the dorsal artery of the foot. Distally, the anterior tibial artery gives off two branches, which we will be talking about or seeing here highlighted in green. On the left image, we're looking at uh, the anterior medial malleolar artery. And on the image on the right side, we're looking at the anterior lateral malleolar artery. Some tongue twisters here for me at least. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.